Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Targaryens in the East campaign here in Crusader Kings 2 with the Game of Thrones mod. In the previous episode we didn't really achieve much but we did fix a potentially game-breaking bug where I accidentally became the Archmaester of the Citadel down in Old Town. And so I ended up uh, saves coming a bit, reloading a autosave and I assume I have autosave set at only once per year. Or maybe not enough time had gone past, I don't remember. Point is, luckily for me, there was indeed an autosave. I reloaded it, replayed the scenario, and uh, refused to accept uh, taking the Citadel when the option came up. However, uh, that's, I think, something that everyone can agree that was a tolerable thing to do. Uh, however, I did also gain a lot from safe scumming like I did. I avoided cancer, which is probably the biggest thing. Then again, my air is pretty... Ah, my... Ah, what the fuck? When did you gain... Oh, look at that. My air is awesome when it comes to diplomacy now. It's not awesome, as awesome as I am, because I am chronically awesome. After all, I am named Otheris the Second, And that is the, the, the luckiest name uh, that any kid can have in this, uh, in this campaign, at least. I've got... I've grown oddly fond of the name Otheris. Um, I'm I'm feeling like it's a at least in my head it's ever so slightly a bit of a meme uh, because it started out as a joke. Uh, it was a name I ga gave to mud blood children that did not have the Targaryen features, and I feel like that tradition should be kept. Uh, then again, when my son was a child, he did not have the Targaryen features, but when he grew up. Uh, he has them indeed, although I assume that's because he is still a Lyseni. Uh, the way I think Lysenis work are that they can either have brown or um, silver here, and they can have either blue or purple eyes, because they are sort of a mix between the locals on Lys and the Valerians, like most Valerian descended peoples are, except for the, you know, incestuous upper classes like the Targaryens, which we are of course, but uh, uh, we are actually primarily descended from, um, oh god, this family tree. Let's see, where's the, yeah, uh, Demian, no, that's Coheris. Uh, Demian, the Merciless, had a lovely little slave, or, I know, I think it was just a concubine. Stigon, no, it's not her. Where are you? Secondary wives. Is the game being a bit meme? I think the game is being a bit silly here. There was a Lyseni secondary wife um, that existed, or a concubine, I think. I guess we can look at his ear and then look at his, look at his mother. Mm, wait, no, that's the wife of... fuck. Damon had a child who became heir. His mother... here it is. Myceria, Misery... or yeah, my, Myceria Misery, the White Worm. She's the cursed reason that all of our people have, uh, n you know, non-Valerian traits. She's actually a historical character, though. You could see that there was, like, an option for the Wiki of Ice and Fire. I should read up on her in between episodes and and see what secrets she has to to offer me. We can usurp the Kingdom of Yunkai. Oh, my. I'm honestly rather tempted to do that, because Yunkai has gathered a bit more power than I would like. Thing is, though... The capital of Yunkai is Yunkai, and so if I usurp the kingdom itself... Again, maybe I could just usurp it and give it back to him, and he will love me for it? Let's try that. Sounds like a complete meme, but... Never mind, I can usurp Karth. That might actually make a lot more sense. Because Karth, I would not mind being its own thing. This guy's High Lord of Karth, though, so that's a problem. That means I cannot take Karth itself. He has no actual armies. I could just take the penalty. Cat's exterminated. Are you dying from disease? No, you're not. Good. I'm tempted to do that. I was never quite comfortable with the idea of Karth being independent. But yeah, I think this is a mod-specific thing. I'm pretty like I've seen this so often at this point that I'm pretty sure. Ooh, I can be High Lord of Dragonstone. Interesting. I'm not going to be bothered to do that though. Are you not a vassal, by the way? Of no, you're a vassal of Dragonfield. I think we're going to use our uh, dragon or uh, Karth. I mean, 
Although he actually kept some land. Oh yeah, he actually owns a decent chunk of land directly. Thing is though, anyone who's to rule this place... Yeah, I can only do that. Well, hmm. Am I killing someone as, as of right now? No. So I could potentially try and fabricate some treason on this guy. Although, fuck, I just... Nah, yeah, fuck. Now I have too many vassals. Shit. Kill, I could do that. No, fabricate treason. No, that, I can't do that? Crud, now I kind of regret doing what I did. By the way, did you dislike that? Yeah, oh, fuck, oh my god, he disliked that. Fine then, you can have cars back. I changed my mind. <gasps> Never mind, you can't give shit back. I forgot about that. <laughs> Whoops. Cuck that one up, didn't I? Fuck. Oh, very well then. Um, we're just gonna have to sort things out a bit. So you're high lord of that. You're just the lord. So I don't know. You can have Port Ethos, and you're high lord as well. No, you're just the lord actually. Okay, good. Uh, you can have that too then. You can have or that potentially. Actually, no, 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 no. You are lord of just that, and that's going to go to Morak, because of my border autism. Uh, no, not retract. Uh, fuck, I didn't even click that. There we are. Morak. Still need to get my hands on this kingdom, actually. I'll have to come up with an excuse for that. Then again, can I imprison him? King the half-hand. Can I imprison this guy, though? I actually kind of like him. He is a... Loyal vassal. He was, anyways. He doesn't like me anymore, but that's fair enough. I've been quite a cunt lately. Let's see. That's a ruin. Um, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just make him a vassal of... We could just make it a vassal of Karth, actually, now that I think about it. Fuck it. Let's just do that. We cannot do that. Excuse me. Wait. Okay. The Lordship of Jade Point. Well, why does it say Carl? Let's give let some time go. Seems like the game is being ever so slightly confused there. The Lineage. Let's do uh, morale of armies. I never raised my own liege, so I never raised my own liege. I never raised my own levy. That's what I'm trying to say. So, oh, God. see now I'm being confused again. Are you at war? No, you're not. So you're having no excuses. Fuck. Oh, never mind, I have, I have, oh, never mind, we're good. We have perfectly reasonable amounts of vassals. Here's another people called Carl. Fuck you, game, I, I, I did all I did. All I did in the previous episode was try to fix my shitty... Right, right, it's not a bug. He's high lord of all of this. Right, that makes sense. That is actually kind of neat. I'll make you a vassal of Yunkai, I think. And I'll placate him ever so slightly. At least get him up to positive relations. That's useful. Wait, I cannot. Are you... No, you're not. Fuck you. Why can I not give you the land? I never... Every time I think I see a pattern in this logic, it immediately evades me and stops making sense again. <sighs> What's... The... My vassal... Stormsinger of what? Should be sworn to you. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Still do not understand why I can't make this guy a vassal of... Is it because he's a child? Like... Come on, game. What's going on here? This is the Lord of Gis. Surely the Lord of Gis should be able to have... The cunt of this place as his subject? No? God damn it. <laughs> Wait, what? Right, 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 right. So the Axe uh, had themselves a little revolution in order to establish a merchant republic. But I, I sort of assumed that they meant to establish a merchant republic in all of Lorath. But they didn't. And now... Alright, so maybe I should wait a bit before I make him a vassal of Lorath again. Because he seems to... Well, maybe I can make him a vassal of Kohor. Could work. And mind, Kohor has no armies either. Shit. Uh, thing is, though, it brings me over my vassal limit, so I need to get rid of a vassal somehow. 
I don't think these vassals count. Are you independent? No, you're still fighting some wars. Uh, all of these random vassals, I'm pretty sure they're all unrelated. So really, I just, I really, really, really need you to, or I mean you, to accept uh, vassalage. Or to accept having as or this asshole as a vassal. You could just take the title. Cannot take the title. Very well then. Actually, that's not very well. Uh, let's get some treason going for this guy. Unless I'm doing something else. No, I'm not. I'm getting sick of this guy's existence. Uh, let's go for... Right, I couldn't do that. Crud. Could I do it with this guy? No. Well, I could try. Well, let's try. Give it a shot. Oh my god, that's a lot of people who want to join the party. And that's what, 70% intrigue score? That's not a lot. My wife, my wife died? Oh no. That's unfortunate. My fire obsessed little waifu. Dead at last. Eh, fuck it, let's give her a funeral. Uh, all the court of Valeria. That's expensive, but that's fine. Hey, we can have another wife now. Oh god, yeah, our other wife is shitting herself to death. So it makes perfect sense that we should marry someone. Don't have any siblings though, do we? No, we married all our siblings. And they're all dead. Well, the female siblings anyways. Let's go for some other random people then. Females. There's an attractive Targaryen. Ah, oh, we can marry our daughter? No, he's... Okay, right. Uh, not married. We need waifu material. Here's an attractive little girl. But that is fundamentally creepy though. Then again, if I could squeeze out, squeeze out another child before I die, I would not mind that. Fuck it, let's go for it. Arrange marriage. I mean, we're literally committing slavery, incest, glorious murder, and torture. So, uh, I think we have, we're already like a chronic crimes, like we are crimes against humanity incarnated. So I don't think this will really change too many things. I have a lot of money. I'm thinking maybe we should invade some more Dothraki. I've talked about that earlier. Uh, there's Toko clan, but it's already growing large. So actually, never mind. It's the Maloko clan I'm looking at. I wouldn't mind taking this province and giving it to. Well, maybe I shouldn't give any more colonies to Valantis. Then again, the Valentines are a merchant republic, and so surely they are among the richer peoples. I fear if I would to. If I were to give colonies to the feudal lords of my realm, that wouldn't work as well. Okay, we'll invade this asshole. Cannot do that. He is not independent and we have levies. Right, right we're killing off his uh, siblings or whatever. His, his friends. Uh, or his fellow Dothraki at least. Lavishly on food. My wife was a good wife, I think. I don't even remember her name. What's this? Part of the castle, da, da, da. yes, 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 repair all of it. If it increases the speed at which my colonies are done, then I will tolerate them very much. Right, so everyone is dying. Uh, this is the second pop-up I'm getting. Is there some sort of disease going on? Are we, are we dying? No. So she has food poisoning. My daughter has food poisoning. My wife has food poisoning. I think. No, not that one. The other wife. This one. Yeah. Wolf. What's going on here? Someone trying to kill me? Yeah, I'll give you some cash for a job well done. That'll... Once again, those events are a bit weird, but whatever. So... Right. So they... No, you're just some unrelated lady. I don't, I don't care. Clockwell... See, this is annoying. I think I read in the patch notes, though, that they're going to try and limit this. Like, random courtiers who have nothing to do with, nothing to do with you are going to stop bothering you like this. A random bastard? His parents were ruined! Literally! Master... Cunt the fuck of... Uh, he... He was born of a ruin! Like... Uh, <sighs> He's clearly an abomination! Fuck all of you! Yes, you will go to prison. What's this now? 
Well, I don't care about you, you're old. Well, whatever makes uh, the master Negleglilos happy. Right, so if you guys did not sort of comprehend the general crimes against humanity incarnate that this guy is, Otharis II that is, we're about to sell our wife because she's too old. And we're gonna let this guy rot, although actually he's dying. You're the lord of what now? Wait, what's going on? Alright, we sold our wife. Well, concubine, but you know, details, details. We're still literally purchasing people to fuck. We are gay after all, so fuck it. Didn't I buy men? Should we buy more men? Uh, let's see, can I? Let's see. Homo. No. You cannot do that? Oh, alright, let's do ditch the my culture, my religion thing. Any religion, any religion. Alright, you can actually Google for gay shit, or <laughs> gay people. So we just need to find some sort of... Can I do both? Homosexual and slave? Because if I don't do that, I'll have to like look through the list. And no matter how gay my character is, I think that's sort of beyond my... My abilities, to be perfectly honest. Surely there's gotta be gay slaves in the... There it is, no. Former slave. Well, surely we can enslave him again. Are there no gay slaves in the entirety of the known world? Oh, very well then. I guess he's just gonna have to fuck women. We women. Well, sorry fam, but... Uh, sexism, I guess. Go march in a parade or something. Seriously though, uh, like, uh, seriously, like, uh, please, like, if you ever want to convince someone that they should support progressive ideals in real life, make them play CK2, because that will really make them reconsider, like, uh, right, you have to make children, but surely you can just buy a bunch of men to sign it, or fuck, you can just go find a girlfriend, you're literally the emperor of the world, so I don't see how that's a problem. I mean, if you have to put your dick at this on girl from time to time, that's, you know, everyone can do that. No matter how gay you are. So, as a, as a conclusion, uh, homo, like, being judgmental of homosexuals is a silly thing, right? And, uh, but seriously though, I, I mean, when you play this game at least, the worst thing of all is fucking sexism, because when you play this shit game, uh, you always have to fuck around, right? So I, I, I really need you to not invade the Stormlands right now because of the whole... No, I cannot do that. Dude, where the fuck did you invade Dorn? My point, though. Sexism in this game is the worst. Uh, that, that is the one thing that the Valerian religion does not have going for it. Because the fact that you cannot give titles to girls is such a pain in the ass. It is honestly so fucking frustrating. So that's my point. If you ever have any, if you ever have any people who you know, ooh, my prisoner. If you ever have any um, people IRL that uh, doubt the virtues of, uh, you know, tolerating people of different things, make them play CK2, and they will learn that sexism is stupid because you can't give people titles. Homosexuality is stupid because, uh, you know. You gotta give people men so that they can do their duty. I feel like that's uh, a universal concept. Uh, what are we doing else? Elsewheres? We have favors. I don't know why we have favors, but that doesn't matter. I don't need favors. I'm literally the absolute monarch of this empire. But seriously, we need to invade some uh, Dothraki. Uh, unless I can finally invade this cunt. No, I cannot. I, I assume he has to be done with his silly war against the um, uh, the Stormlands. Are you... did you survive the civil war by the way or are you still doing that? No, you're still waging civil war. Very well then. Guess we're gonna have to try and kill this guy to prevent that. Could send for a sorrowful man, but that strikes me as something that would cost a lot of money. And it's not like I'm here to pay a lot of money. So, well, uh, let's see. Uh, let's just invade this guy. Are we? No, we're not already invading him. We cannot invade him. Because we have levies raised. 
Right. Uh, right, but we did, we did just defeat that guy. I guess maybe we should kill this guy as well while we're at it. Alright, so I've begun an invasion of Malaco. Uh, we're gonna be... Ooh, what happened? Ah, I had a Zorse. Uh, or, you know, a Zebra. And it died. That was a sad day. In the end, we have like... An absolute fuck ton of treasures. <laughs> because I have been... You know... Fucking shit up so badly in a lot of places that uh, it's started to add up. I think we have like a um, exceptional blood of Larry uh, amphitheater formidable crushed revolt. Where's the the modifier? Yeah, there we go. From treasure. Yeah, you can see how crazy the amounts of bonuses we're gaining from our treasury because. Uh, we have a lot of fancy shit in our treasury, that's what I'm trying to say, so, you know. Oh, there we are! Uh, so the random meme lord surrenders! Wonderful! Yes, we will start a colony. And we'll give it to Volantis in the hopes that they will somehow succeed in keeping it going. Uh, we could now go for this place to try and clean this up a bit. Uh, no, we have levies, right, we need to disband those. Uh, Alright though, regardless, I think we're actually going to end this episode here, and then the next one will, I don't know, conquer some more shit. Uh, we do need to keep an eye on Thorn to see if they will be reincorporated into the realm uh, once his little slave war is over. Uh, there might also be time to finally incorporate the Summer Islands. I'm not sure. The Summer Islands have actually united. Yeah, are they entirely united? Yeah, it kind of looks like so. Maybe with the exception of... yeah. All of the islands, except for this island, is united under one kingdom. <laughs> There's even some Valerian descendants hanging out over here. Um, I mean, of course, there are, there are these random little holdings that we own. Um, but uh, that was not my making. But, you know, that is, that is all fine. Also, this is a vassal of lice for some reason. Huh. Also, it looks like the fancy kingdom over here. The... Um, mercenary company that ruled a, a kingdom over there has gone away so that's kind of sad to see I thought that was kind of funny but uh, oh well what are you gonna do anyways thanks so much for watching this episode and until next time bye